another use case created by Chris Hankins and uh, Andrew Salloway also helped us uh, set this up. What we have in here is a group of machines, let's say this part of this 172.16.16 network, these machines on this side, and let's say that these are sensitive machines that have uh, information that we want to you know, monitor the activity on those machines in a particular way, but the situation is we cannot collect flows. Let's say that we don't have a Gigamon port uh, tab that we can use to collect flows. But what we can do is that we can have an XGS IPS which will protect these boxes and we'll see uh, how we're going to use it in here. But not only protects those, those boxes very well, but also has the capability of generating logs and flows that can be sent to uh, a curator instance that we have uh, in here. As we see, they are all part of that uh, 172.16.60 network and you see the address of every one of the machines in here. We set the XGS in simulated blocking because we don't want to stop many things. We want to some of these things because we are not sure whether those are legit or not. We are going to let those, those uh, things that could we block being passed, but we want to alert uh, curator by virtue of those uh, logs and flows. And in particular, we're going to be from this machine, which is in the same subnet, but it's not part of the protected zone. It's actually, let's say that this is a machine that got compromised by malware. Somebody clicked where they're not supposed to, and the machine is doing a recon. It's, uh, planning their next lateral move and it's finding out what's out there and it's issuing this nmap command with the uh, with the flags of uh, for doing uh, UDP scans and the uh, TCP sync and as you see we are uh, we're going to be uh, scanning the whole uh, subnet so from that machine that is kind of external to the protected zone we're going to launch that uh, massive uh, Nmap uh, scanning. So let's wait a little bit until that can uh, actually takes place. We see that we see the scan actually uh, taking place. This is scanning the entire uh, subnet. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And we see here in the network activity of QReader, it's uh, actually detecting all those flows that have been sent from the XGS IPS. I'm here in the console of the IPS and as we see the IPS is detecting all those uh, uh, UDP port scans and um, actually we have them as I said before we don't want to block this traffic we want to actually let it through but the, IP, the XGS is uh, detecting those uh, actual events. And sure enough here we have an offense being triggered. Let's take a look at it as we've done many times before. So when we click in the offense, notice that this is some logs and almost 4,000 flows. Again, those are the flows that were sent by the XGS IPS. And if we want to see which, what, which is their rule or their rules involved in here is actually this one, local to local UDP scanner. Let's take a look at this rule and then I'll show you the very little things that we have to do to make this happen. So basically the rule states that when the traffic is not one of these which are normal type of traffic that happen UDP and the contest is local to local. In this case it's going to trigger because again this is what we want is somebody who is in our local network doing a recon from the inside you may not want to have this rule firing from the outside because that's what the bad guys do all the time. But here that's where the context of this rule came local to local. And when the protocol is UDP and the only thing that I actually change in this rule is this where it says more than I believe that the original rule says more than 59 destination IP within 10 minutes. I don't have 59 IPs in my demo network so I put more than two and this rule actually fired indicating the presence of a, an internal UDP scan. What is it that we have to do? 
to make all this happen well happens to be that there is actually a rule that we got from the app exchange so here in the admin tab I'm on the extension management and I just want to show you the actual application that I install is this reconnaissance content and that is where that rule actually came nothing else needed to be done and here back at the offenses tab on the rules section I just want to show you some of the uh, recon rules that that package actually add for you so all these type of uh, uh, strange scanning you can detect by just adding that package and nothing else that needs to be done now how we get the flows from the XGS is actually described in the description section of this video there is a link that shows you how we set up the XGS uh, to generate flows uh, to curators very simple the only other thing that we did in the XGS is on the uh, monitor section we go to in, in uh, intrusion prevention policy we go to the default policy let me actually put uh, 100 entries uh, per page here and I just put a filter to look for some scan so I put all the rules and when the column is event name and I just put scan here just to show you the two options that we enable and these are the two TCP port scan and UDP port scan and since we did an nmap uh, minus SDU and these are the things that are actually detected and again what we have done is show how curator can detect all these type of uh, special scannings that should not be happening on a network network even, and if they do happen because you want to do some proactive scan you define that in curator so curator doesn't flag those as strange and we have shown th that in other videos uh, but this is you know somebody in the inside is doing some strange scanning well I have no flows yes you do if you have the XGS you can collect the flows if you don't have any other way of bringing the flows to Curator but anyway bringing the flows to the XGS or from uh, Gigamon tab or whatever other mechanism you have you see how Curator can detect those strange uh, scanning happening once we have this setup done we actually wanted to experiment and do other type of nmap and this is actually uh, what is called the Christmas tree uh, type of scan in which the fin PSH and the URG uh, flags are set up and this is a, an old type of scan that uh, but if you have a router that may have some old firmware this can act as a uh, denial of service and it can bring the make the the, the router uh, to um, uh, to reboot and uh, as we can see in here the XGS is quite well detecting that type of uh, scan as well and if we go back to the log activity on the XGS we see that um, it's actually the, the Christmas tree scan is actually being detected these are the uh, events from the uh, previous scan and as we see here in this symbol they contributed uh, to the offense that we analyzed before